Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about 70s fashion and how to incorporate retro fashion into your wardrobe and how I did it. I'm really excited for this video because I get a lot of questions about how do you dress retro, what do you look for, where do you shop, and I wanted to put it all in one video so I can share with you my knowledge and you can incorporate retro fashion into your closet. I have my notes here and I have broken down this video into different categories. We're talking about staple items that you need in your closet, keywords to look for when you're shopping, how to thrift, and where I shop. The first part of this video is all about staple or statement items you need in your closet. First staple item you'll need in your closet are flare jeans. Um, when I think of 70s or boho fashion, I think of flare jeans. And some people get flare jeans and bell bottoms confused, so I will tell you the difference here. Bell bottoms have really, really wide bottoms, and flare jeans are more fitted and then flare out. Flare jeans, you can pair them with a t-shirt, you can pair them with a tank top, you can pair them with anything, and the outfit automatically feels very 70s, very boho, very chic. Get yourself some flare jeans. Let's talk about tops. When you think of retro, you think of a lot of bell sleeve tops, and I will definitely say I recommend getting one or two bell sleeve tops for feeling very boho, feeling very retro Stevie Nicks vibes. Personally, I only own, I think, one bell sleeve top just because I find them impractical for my everyday life. They kind of get in the way when I'm just doing things throughout the day, so I don't own many of those. I kind of switched that out for retro t-shirts or band tees. Just keep in mind that they're not always very practical for everyday life. The next staple I recommend are chunky platform boots. Shoes really put together the whole outfit, so you definitely need to tie it all together with some platform boots. Get something that you can walk in and you enjoy and it's comfortable for you to wear in your everyday life. For me, I love the Steve Madden boots. These are linked in my Like to Know It. I'll leave them linked down in the bio. These are so comfortable, so cozy. I don't feel like I'm wearing massive heels. Um, I can walk in them just fine. So definitely recommend getting some platform or chunky boots. Next on my staples list that I definitely recommend is getting a Baker Boy hat. This is a Baker Boy hat from Urban Outfitters. It is shaped a little differently than most. I don't know if I'm totally in love with it but I will show you a few ideas here. So they pull in the outfit all together. They literally scream, hey, I'm making a fashion statement right now. Next staple piece I definitely recommend investing in is a duster or a long cardigan. You can layer a duster or cardigan over literally anything and it gives it a boho flair. I love these, they're my favorite thing ever. Free People has some beautiful ones. They are an investment, so just keep that in mind. Last on my staples list is probably crochet. I love crochet and granny knit cardigans and sweaters and scarves, and so I definitely think that they are a great staple to have in your closet. It's so fun and funky. Um, it's definitely a statement piece, so it's not something you might wear every single day, but if you're looking to dress 70s, you need some crochet. Let's get into keywords. I put together a list of words you'll want to look for when you're um, looking online or just online shopping. Um, these are the things that will probably bring up more clothes that you're looking for and you're interested in. I will begin to list the words here, but they are 70s, retro, boho, hippie, flare, bell, flow, chunky, platform, suede, velvet, and French. So when I'm shopping online, I might look up a hippie top or a bell sleeve top or a retro top. If I'm looking for shoes, I'll look up chunky shoes, platform shoes, 70 shoes. These are all keywords that you can use when shopping online or just keep in mind um, when you are shopping. So the next part of this video is how to thrift. I go to the thrift store, I really like to get a cart and just put everything that catches my eye into that cart. I really like to look for um, flare jeans, cropped jeans, high-waisted jeans, and sweaters. I like to look for chunky knits, colorful knits, and t-shirts I, I like to look for band tees, Harley Davidson tees, any t-shirts that 
kind of look distressed or vintage. I'll go throughout the thrift store. I'll grab all the things that actually catch my eye. I'll usually go to the back and I will hang them all up where I can look at them all next to each other and then say, okay, do I really like this or do I like it just because it's in the thrift store? If I saw this in Free People, and it was, you know, $100, would I want it? Would I pick it up? Would I try it on? So that really helps me because this year I've tried so hard to buy very intentionally. I do most of my thrifting online and this might be controversial. Some people say this is not thrifting, but I mean, it's secondhand buying. So, so I like to shop on Depop, Poshmark, and Mercari. Depop is amazing honestly it is the downfall for me because they have a curated list of the clothes they think you would like every single day and that's actually where i find most of the clothes i own the pros to depop is it's it's very curated for you they're gonna have a lot of cute unique things a lot of one-of-a-kind things the cons are that most of the people on there are vintage resellers and they are skyrocketing that price. They're buying things for $5 and selling it for $75. Depop is expensive and you can bargain with the seller, which is really nice, but a lot of times you are funding someone who's getting that item from the thrift store. I like Mercari because a lot of times people don't know what they have and they just throw it on Mercari and you can get it for a really good deal. They probably won't have the most designer things, but they will have like some old free people, some unique things that are like five bucks and that's awesome. Poshmark is the biggest reselling app there is, so if you can't find something on any other platform, look on Poshmark, that's what I usually do. You can bargain with a seller, and usually things are priced pretty well on there as well. Okay, before I go, I'm going to let you know the places that I love to shop the most, and that is Gonda Clothing. They are a 70s retro clothing brand that I love so, so much. All of their clothes are beautiful, well-made, and they're actually made in Australia, which is awesome. My favorite store of all time, of course, is Free People. It is just very expensive. So I personally like to get my Free People on Mercari or Depop or in the thrift store. But when it's special occasions, sometimes I just can't live without something. I'll invest in a piece at Free People. I also like Urban Outfitters and Anthropology. Those are both a little bit expensive. Urban Outfitters is a little less expensive. They do have some good pieces. That's where I got this hat right here. But a lot of times they'll have some cute stuff. You just kind of got to be picky about it. I've had some good luck shopping on ASOS, but I've also had really bad luck shopping on ASOS as well. So I found some beautiful boho maxi dresses for spring, um, and some of them didn't work, but some of them did work. So always be careful with ASOS. You can return things for free, which is really nice. So check out ASOS for like spring um, maxi dresses. I actually really do like American Eagle, which is very interesting, but they do have a lot of cute t-shirts and fun retro casual clothes. I got some cute retro shorts last year, and they do have cute overalls, so definitely check out American Eagle um, and look them up on Poshmark or Mercari, because a lot of people will resell American Eagle there. Hey guys, so we're at the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. I really hope this helped. I can't wait to see the retro outfits that you create. So DM me and send me some pictures or if you ever have any questions, my inbox is always open on Instagram. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.